poor designs, dangerous malfunctions, freak accidents, and human error. There are approximately 30,000 theme park-related injuries worldwide each year. Fasten your seatbelts and keep your arms and legs inside at all times because it's time to take a look at the top 15 most dangerous theme parks in the world. Number 15. Schlitterbahn Water Park, Kansas City There's nothing quite like visiting a water park on a hot summer's day, but with thousands of people crammed into pools, they can soon become some of the most dangerous visitor attractions. As with other leisure venues, each one has to pull out all of the stops to offer the most exciting rides, and sometimes they push the boundaries way too far. That's exactly what happened at the Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City, which opened in July 2009. With two large pools and 14 water slides, the selling point was a slide called Verrucht, which became the tallest and fastest water slide in the world. At almost 169 feet high, the starting point of the slide was a higher elevation than the Niagara Falls, and riders would sit on a three-person raft, which reached speeds of up to 65 miles an hour. Tragically, it turned out that the slide was just as dangerous as it sounds, and in 2016, a young boy was decapitated when the raft lifted up and collided with part of the support structure. The investigation that followed found several other rides had serious safety issues too, so the park was closed before the beginning of the 2018 season and never reopened, and remains proof that bigger and faster doesn't always mean better. Number 14. Dream World Amusement Park, Queensland, Australia After first opening in 1981 on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia, the Dream World Amusement Park has become the largest of its type in the country. With eight different themed lands, including the Main Street, Ocean Parade, Whitewater World, and Gold Rush Country, it has more than 45 different rides, which include four roller coasters and plans to build more to keep it competitive with the top parks around the world. Things haven't been perfect for the park over the years, though, and there have been several safety problems. The most tragic of these took place in 2016, when two rafts of the Thunder River Rapids ride collided, which resulted in four people becoming trapped in the ride's machinery and dying as a result. In the wake of this, the theme park remained closed for a month to assess the safety of the other rides, and when it reopened, all of the thrill rides were kept shut. They have since begun operation once more following a full safety audit, but the River Rapids ride has been demolished and replaced with other attractions. As recently as 2020, a few more of the longest standing rides were closed too, following maintenance. It was found that they had structural issues that could have potentially been a threat to life if they were allowed to continue operating. It's a challenge every theme park faces, that as machinery gets older, it becomes more unreliable and doesn't conform to modern safety standards. And luckily now, because of issues in the past, the park management appears to be taking a more proactive approach to prevent any future disasters. Number 13. Walt Disney World, Florida It's undoubtedly the most famous collection of theme parks in the world, and is arguably responsible for showing just how creative and imaginative the venues can be. But despite this, the company's reputation for being family-friendly, the Walt Disney World in Florida has suffered more than its fair share of accidents. A lot of this is simply down to the fact that it's the most visited vacation resort on Earth, with more than 58 million visitors in a normal year. And with so many people passing through, you'd statistically expect a certain number to experience difficulties. Because Florida has so many amusement parks, operators are required to submit details of any incident that take place to the authorities, and this data can be illuminating to show just how often something untoward might happen. It was revealed in 1985, for example, that at least 100 lawsuits are filed against Disney each year for incidents in the park, and this number is believed to have risen substantially since then. Of all the rides that Disney operates, Mission Space at Epcot has by far caused the most issues. Between 2005 and 2006, paramedics responded to 194 incidents where riders had become ill, and there have been several deaths linked with the ride, although in each case the victim had a pre-existing medical condition. Other incidents across Disney World have included malfunctioning safety equipment, violent behavior by some visitors, and people suffering injuries after sneaking into areas they shouldn't have been. Next time you're there, if you ever wonder why security can be so strict, it's often purely to prevent any further injuries, because although it's almost an inevitability when you're running such a large park, the company definitely tries its best to reduce accidents as much as reasonably possible. Number 12. Kankaria Adventure Park, India 
The man-made Kankaria Lake was built in 1451 in Ahmedabad in India and since then has always been a popular attraction for locals and visitors alike. It has a thriving lakefront with a wide range of stores and other amenities and in 2014 a Dutch company installed five new rides to form an amusement park and capitalize on the large number of visitors. These rides were fairly basic in design and by no means as complex as you'd find elsewhere in the world, but they offered guests an opportunity for a thrilling experience in the beautiful surroundings of the lake. The rides included a boomerang roller coaster, a flipping arm, a merry-go-round, and the torching tower, but it was the swinging disco pendulum that would lead to questions being asked about the safety of any of them. Footage recorded in July of 2019 shows just how terribly wrong things can go when rides aren't properly maintained. While in operation and returning back to a stationary position, the entire arm of the ride snapped. With nothing to hold them in the air, the passengers on the seated end fell more than 20 feet to the ground, which resulted in two fatalities and 29 people being seriously injured. It was one of the most horrific ride-related incidents in recent times, and something that's made all the more tragic by the fact that it would have been completely preventable with more frequent checks by engineers. Number 11. Rye Playland, New York Anyone who has lived in New York will probably know about the Rye Playland, especially as the 280-acre theme park has been in continuous operation since its first opened in 1928. It has, of course, developed substantially since its first welcome visitors, and now boasts a collection of five roller coasters and 14 other thrill rides, including an original 1915 Mangels Carmel Grand Carousel. There's also a dedicated kids land, a casino, and the park hosts regular performances and events. But while it's meant to be a place where the whole family can enjoy themselves, it's also been the site of several tragedies over the years. There have, for example, been two deaths on the Mind Scrambler ride, a fatality on the Ye Old Mill Boat ride, a mechanical failure on the Wild Mouse roller coaster that led to six people being taken to the hospital, and several other incidents related to people behaving irresponsibly on site. Again, part of the danger is the fact that many of the rides are very old and require far more maintenance due to the fact that they weren't originally built to modern day safety requirements. And while the park management has certainly done well to invest huge sums to prioritize safety, there's sometimes very little they can do to prevent occasional accidents. In a sign of how well the upgrades have worked, there hasn't been a fatality in the park for more than 13 years, so it's definitely safer now than it's ever been before. Number 10. Fort Fun, Germany Germany's Fort Fun, which is close to Bestwig Wasserfall in the North Rhine-Westphalia region, has been one of the most popular theme parks in the country since opening in 1972. It began as a park full of mountain-style rides, such as a toboggan run and ski slopes, but to continually attract visitors, investment was made to build roller coasters and other rides, too. Despite having changed owners a number of times over the years, Fort Fun remains one of the top attractions in the area and welcomes millions of visitors each year. Most experience a great day out with a variety of rides to cater to all tastes, but as with most busy parks, the safety record isn't exactly spotless. There have been three major incidents in the past 20 years, which included a huge fire in 2015 that completely destroyed a show set an accident on the slummer sledding ride in 2000 that left a seven-year-old boy with severe life-changing injuries, and in 2017 a horrific accident on the trapper slider ride that resulted in a young boy losing parts of his leg. After each of these events, investigations found ways to improve safety around the park, but due to the nature of the rides, it's impossible to remove every element of risk entirely. Number 9. California's Great America California's Great America is one of the most famous theme parks in the U.S., but it has also proved to be one of the most dangerous. It opened in 1976 as Marriott's Great America, but due to escalating costs and safety concerns has had a number of different owners since then. Set across a 100-acre site, the park has 52 main attractions, nine of which are the roller coasters and two of which are water rides. One coaster in particular, the Gold Striker, is regarded as one of the best wooden roller coasters in the world and has won a number of awards since it was revealed in 2013. If you've never been to California but this park seems familiar, it's possibly because it was a location for Beverly Hills Cop 3 that was released in 1994. But even Axel Foley couldn't have foreseen some of the dangers within the park. 
Since 1980, there have been six deaths on site, most of which have been the result of guests or staff failing to follow the rules. The most dangerous ride of all is called the Flight Deck, which is a steel inverted coaster that reached speeds of up to 50 miles an hour. With cars being suspended under the tracks, riders' legs dangle free beneath them, and on two occasions someone has entered a restricted area beneath the ride and been struck on the head by a passing train. In both cases, this was fatal and also caused severe injuries to people on the ride. Number 8. Gillian's Wonderland Pier, New Jersey Located on the boardwalk along the New Jersey shore, Gillian's Wonderland Pier has been entertaining the local community for more than 90 years, having first opened its doors in 1929. There are 32 rides, including one roller coaster and one log flume, and it's well known for having one of the largest Ferris wheels on the East Coast, which towers over the rest of the park at 144 feet tall. No childhood in New Jersey would be complete without regular trips to the Wonderland Pier, but locals definitely know how to keep their wits about them, because in recent years there have been a number of accidents as a result of poor maintenance of the rides that in some cases are many decades old. In 1999, for example, two people died after a car on the Wild Wonder roller coaster lost traction as it was going up a steep slope and wasn't able to reach the top, meaning it slid back down and collided with the other car behind it. Eight years later, there was another collision, this time on the Canyon Falls Log Flume ride, which caused five significant injuries. While in 2013, there was a terrible accident when a ride began with a four-year-old still stood on the platform, and the injury she sustained meant a lengthy stay in hospital. Investigations have found that accidents at Gillian's Wonderland were often a combination of poor maintenance and operator error, so the company has embarked on a huge retraining effort to ensure that the chances of something happening again are greatly reduced. Number 7. Cedar Point, Ohio Cedar Point on Lake Erie in Sandusky, Ohio is the second oldest continuously running amusement park in the U.S. It opened in 1870 and in normal years welcomes in excess of 3 million visitors. It's the flagship park of Cedar Fair which owns and operates others around the country and features one of the highest numbers of rides of any park in the world. In fact, it's simply impossible to experience each of the 71 rides which includes 17 roller coasters in one day, so to take in all that's on offer usually requires an extended visit. Having been open for so long and being so busy, especially during peak times, it's almost amazing there haven't been more incidents at Cedar Point than there have been. According to official records, there's only been one death which was the result of a visitor breaking into a restricted area beneath a roller coaster. But while fatalities are extremely rare, there have been a number of cases where people have been seriously injured. These range from boats on the river rapids flipping over and trapping people underwater, to rides breaking and stranding passengers, cables snapping and train collisions on some of the coasters. Most of these, though, have been blamed on operator error as opposed to anything being inherently wrong with the rides themselves. Number 6. Alton Towers, UK Alton Towers is the largest and second most popular theme park in the UK, built on a country estate in 1860, but only adding rides as recently as 1980, it has just over 2 million visitors each year, with a range of rides targeted at various age groups, it's a place where you can find gentle, calming experiences, but also some of the most extreme thrill rides in the world. There are 40 attractions in total, including 10 roller coasters and 3 water rides, and even has a roller coaster restaurant where food is delivered along a loop-de-loop -loop from the kitchen. The owners of the park are constantly innovating and coming up with unique concepts, and this means there are park ride designs you won't find anywhere else. This, of course, makes the park one of a kind, but also means some of the ideas are untested and have been known to lead to some unfortunate accidents. No one is known to have died as a result of any of the rides at the park, but there have been several life-changing events. In 2006, the runway mine train suffered a malfunction that caused a crash and meant six people were taken to hospital. And the Skyride gondola that takes people to different stations around the park is notorious for failing during high winds and hot temperatures. The worst accident of all happened in 2015, though, when a malfunction on the Smiler roller coaster caused two cars to collide at high speed. Two passengers had to have a leg amputated because of the injuries, and despite claiming it happened as a result of operator error, Alton Towers was found to be at fault for not having adequate mechanisms in place to prevent this from occurring, and was given an almost $10 million fine. 
Number 5. Mount Olympus Water and Theme Park, Wisconsin Located in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin, the Mount Olympus Water and Theme Park is an ancient Greece-themed park where you're able to experience exhilarating rides in the presence of the gods. There are 51 rides, including 5 roller coasters, 37 water slides, and 9 go-kart tracks, and a number of them have been designed to be unusual. Hades, for example, which is a wooden coaster, has much sharper drops and angles than you'd normally expect, and is often mentioned on coaster enthusiasts' bucket lists. The park opened in 1990 and has, of course, expanded significantly since then, but amazingly, there weren't any serious accidents for the first 24 years of operations. Things unfortunately changed in 2014, though, which many people think is the result of the park's management pushing the ride designs further than they should in an attempt to attract more visitors. A malfunction in March of 2014 saw a lap bar on the Opa roller coaster fail to secure, and a 63-year-old man fell from the car 17 feet to the ground below. He was in a coma for three weeks, and while he fortunately recovered, the coaster was immediately shut for good. The pools have also been a subject of concern, particularly when they get crowded, and this almost led to the death of a young child in 2015, had it not been for the quick response by the lifeguards on duty. And there was another ride malfunction in July of 2015, which came perilously close to severely hurting those that were on board at the time. Number 4. Expo Land Japan Expo Land in Japan was opened in 1969 as a part of the following year's International Expo and would go on to be a popular amusement park for the next three decades. It has more than 40 rides, eight of which were roller coasters, and countless other amenities on offer for guests. The park's ultimate downfall, however, was of its own doing. With tight profit margins, the management had cut down on the maintenance that was performed on rides, and when you're talking about roller coasters, a decision like this can quite easily have tragic consequences, and that's exactly what happened. In 2007, the park's stand-up roller coaster called Fuji Raijin 2 derailed. It instantly killed a 19-year-old who was on board and severely injured 19 others, with a total of 31 people being taken to hospital for treatment. Frighteningly, the cause was found to be a broken axle, and it was determined that none of the axles had been replaced for at least 15 years. With similar faults found on another of the coaster's trains, the park's reputation was in tatters, and the reduced visitor count when it finally reopened meant that it was closed for good just a couple of years later. Number 3. M&D's Motherwell Theme Park, Scotland Near to the city of Motherwell in Scotland, M&D's Motherwell Theme Park has four roller coasters, two water rides, and several other exhilarating attractions. It opened in 1996 and quickly became a family favorite for local communities, but the confidence in its safety has begun to wane in the past decade as a result of several incidents, most of which were entirely avoidable. Mechanical failures are surprisingly common and have caused a number of instances where riders have been stranded for extended periods of time. Derailments have happened too, but the worst accidents have happened on the log flume ride. In 2013, a girl's leg became trapped between the boat and a barrier on the ride, which left her with life-changing injuries. And a couple of years later, there were two incidents in the same month whereby the boat slipped on the track. Number 2. Park Asterix, France Park Asterix, based upon the famous comic book series by René Goscinny, is the second biggest theme park in France with more than 2 million annual visitors in a normal year. Located in the Plaly region of northern France, it features 41 rides, which includes 7 roller coasters and 6 water slides. It opened in 1989 and was a roaring success, but with the opening of Disneyland Paris a few years later and just 12 miles away, visitor numbers were hit and the park was forced to invest heavily in new attractions, at times to the detriment of the maintenance of its current machinery. The park management began to take risks they otherwise wouldn't have done, and this led to several unusual incidents. The first in 2004 saw the rides continue to operate during a powerful storm and resulted in an 11-year-old boy being struck by lightning while in the queue for the Zeus Thunder ride. Two years later, a young child died on the water ride after being sucked in by the pumps that are used to create a current in the artificial river. And this has tarnished the park's reputation to such an extent that after additional safety measures were incorporated, the entire ride was rebranded in an attempt to shake off any negative associations. Number 1. New Jersey's Action Park 
While virtually all of the world's theme parks try their hardest to ensure the safety of their guests, there's one that almost reveled in the fact that it was extremely dangerous. New Jersey's Action Park became notorious for the number of injuries and deaths that took place there, and it's a surprise it was able to operate for as long as it did. Originally opened in 1978, it was predominantly a water park and featured attractions such as a giant wave pool, alpine slides, and even a slide with a full 360-degree loop in it. Between 1980 and 1990, there were six known fatalities to have occurred there, including three drowning in the tidal pool, an electrocution caused by faulty wiring in another pool, and several instances of ride malfunctions. It was also commonplace for guests to suffer from cuts, scrapes, bruises, and broken bones because of the lack of safety procedures, and this led to it being known as Accident Park, with it finally being forced to close in 1996 amidst countless lawsuits. Attempts were made to refurbish the park and its image so it could reopen in 2014, but it failed to attract the same level of visitors and went out of business just a few years later. Still, despite the danger, it remains a fond memory of the generation that grew up with it and is a reminder to park operators around the world quite how badly things can go if you don't prioritize guest safety. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.